What's up, my infected friends? This is KG4E, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, I know my voice sounds a little weird. I've been having some really crazy allergy issues um, recently, which kind of sucks, but, you know, what are you going to do? You might be wondering why I'm chopping down this tree. Like, where did this tree come from? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Ratty updated the game, and all the trees are back. Um, Scott? Scott? Buddy? Buddy, pal? How's it going, man? I got some work for you. Boy, oh boy, do I have some work for you. Let's make you work for two hours. Um, let's have you pick up leaves. Why? I don't know. It's, so I don't have to. Um, and abort the task if your inventory is full. Get to work, bro. We got a lot of work to do, you and I. All right, guys. Well, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like a crazy update or anything. It was uh, more like ma mainly bug fixes. So, but apparently it, you know... It forced all these trees to respawn. Now, some of these trees are going to be a problem. Some aren't. Uh, you know, we're just going to see how things go here. But we do have some issues in here. Uh, we've got some trees inside. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut these down off camera. But um, I just want to see... Where did my mouse go? <laughs> there it is. Uh, I just want to see if I, can, if I can cut them down without breaking the, you know, the building. So, let's see how this goes. Come on. Save. Game saved. Let's do it. Okay. So, actually, you know what? Let's just cut the damn thing down. I'm kind of curious on what it's going to do, considering it's inside of a of a building. And I just saved the game, so it's not really a big deal. So, anyway, you guys can go to the um, Steam the Steam page uh, for the game if you want to see the update. It was just, like I said, there's a bunch of bug fixes. Nothing crazy. Um, and what is this video going to be about? Well, you guys already saw the thumbnail, but, you know, uh, the video is going to be about a second truck. A lot of you guys gave me um, awesome... and. Well, you guys give me a lot of awesome tips. But the tip I'm talking about right now is the fact that um, you guys said make a water truck. And I think that's a really good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a water truck. I'm going to make a couple of these water barrels. And I'm going to keep the water barrels in the... Wait, am I going to keep the water, water barrels in the water truck? I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep the water barrels in the water truck. Um, I might take them out. But I want a truck specifically just for the water barrels. I'll probably take them out. Like, I don't see any reason to keep the barrels inside the truck. Although, you know what? I could use the truck as storage. Yeah. You know what? Wherever I want the water barrels to be, I could just I could just park the truck right there, you know? Like, I could just park the water water barrel truck right here, and then it's like kind of like a portable water so water supply source. Yeah, you know what? You guys are so smart. It's such a good tip, man. You guys give me a lot of good tips. I'm going to go over the next few videos, um, and that is the one I'm going to be doing this video. All right, so can we get rid of this right here now this is the last one i'm going to do on camera i don't really want to be doing this on camera i just kind of want to see um you know you guys might be having these issues as well might want to figure out how to deal with this so let's see yeah that's the log right oh, that's the um yeah i'm good with that yeah cool all right now there's going to be some in there i might not be able to get to but you know we'll just kind of we'll take it by ear and see how it goes um scotty boy is going to do a lot of work here I actually don't really want Scott cutting down all the trees in the area. Um, can I cancel him? Yeah, there we go. I, you know, now that I think about it, I kind of like the trees being close, being close to the um, to the house. I kind of think that's pretty cool, right? It makes it feel more woods-like. Although I'm gonna have to cut some down, but the problem is I can't tell Scott which trees to cut down. Like I'd like these trees cut down because they're in the way, but I want to leave these trees because I think they add something to the, you know. To the ambiance uh, <laughs> of the of the um, of the area. So, all right. Anyway, let's get to work on this. We've got to go ahead and get a bunch of. Oh, another tip you guys told me, and I don't know if I'm going to get to it this video is to, but I will do it. I did see your tip, and I will do it. Um, all you have to do is put down a crop. Actually, I could, yeah, you don't need anything for it. I'll just do it right now. So, if you put these down right here, I don't know how close they need to be. Right, like that. And put another one down like so. Just connect it to it. Oh, they're not centered. Does it matter if they're not centered? Absolutely not. But it matters to me because that kind of stuff will drive me insane. Uh, yes, I'm easily driven insane. There we go. And let's do one more. Now, this is supposed to help the... Oh, oh there we go. That is supposed to help the survivors... Well, what the hell with it? Let's just build it. Oh, because I need the shovel. Yeah, let's build it. Um, that is supposed to help the survivors get inside. Is it going to work? You know what? Let's just find out right now. I wasn't going to do it this video because I thought it would take a long time. But no, this is not taking a long time at all. This is going to be quite quick. So let's see if it's going to work. I need to get a, I need to get two more tires, by the way. Um, that's, that's the only thing I am missing for... Uh, for the second truck. And of course I stopped break I stopped like doing st I stopped getting the tires like an idiot because I was like, "Well, I got plenty of tires. What do I care?" Yeah, cage, not so much. Now you need the tires and you don't have me. You should have just grabbed them when you had the chance. 
All right, move. And in order to try and get them to come inside, we're going to put this inside and set up, like, set something up for them to craft. I don't know what, but we'll set something up. It doesn't have to be a crazy project. We'll just have them do sticks. And we'll try and get Kate in here as the new, the new, uh, new member on the team. All right, Kate, you going to be able to get in there? I don't know. I was told this was going to work. I mean, it looks like it should work, right? Nope. Okay, so maybe maybe it doesn't work for survivors, but maybe it works for me. That's that. Maybe that's the difference. I don't know. Let's just wait for her to walk away and let's see if we can walk in there. I was told that works. I don't know if I did it wrong or or what, but we'll see. All right, so maybe it'll work for me. Okay, so it works for me. I, you know, now that I think about it, the commentator the commenter said probably said it was for me and not for the survivors. I don't know, but the survivors don't see. It doesn't seem to work for the survivors, but you know, that's all right. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know, there's not much you could do about that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get some tires for this thing because we need to get the uh, second. We need to get ourselves a second truck, and I know exactly where the truck is. There's a truck right over there, you know, pretty close. Um, I just need to get the tires, and we'll be good to go. And then um, I'm probably no, I don't have to make any. I don't have to make any of these. I'll just use these two. And like I said, I'll just uh, this will be the parking spot for the water truck, and I don't even have to take them off. There's no reason to take them off the. Um, there's no reason to take them off the truck like at all. So I'll just leave that right there for now. All right, guys, I just tried to pull out um, <laughs> with my truck, and the thing flipped like 50 times. Uh, these these trees have to get cut down. So I changed my mind about uh, keeping the trees around the base. Um, you know, I'm going to try and aim Scott towards the trees I want him to cut down. So what I did was I came out here. This is the area I want him to cut down the trees. I want him to get these trees over here so I can pull in and out, right? So what I did was I brought this over here. I'm going to do that one stick thing. I'm going to tell Scott to do it. And then I'm going to wait for him to come over here. Now, once he gets to this spot, I'm going to set him up to cut down trees for one hour. I, I wish I could set him up to cut down trees for like 15 minutes or something. Because then he maybe he'll like cut down the trees I want him to and not the trees I don't want him to. But, you know, we'll see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to him. Oh, you know what I could do to make him not cut down trees for too long? All right. So check this out. Um, pick up the logs. And the leaves. Abort if inventory is full there now he'll, he won't cut down trees for too long oh i shouldn't have talked to him uh, hold on a sec hold on let's try this i want to make sure his inventory is empty except for the axe obviously all right so assign work cut down trees abort pick up pick up one hour do it so now he'll, he'll only cut down a few trees because his inventory is not that big actually that, that that's gonna work I, I mean i'll have to micromanage him a little bit more because he'll, he won't cut down as many as i'd like him to but he won't cut down trees i don't want him to i want these trees to stay for now because i think it really adds to the game i think it's really cool so all right so um you know what i think we're gonna help out because i can't wait for his slow ass to finish let's do this i think i just hit my freaking truck oh come on stop hitting the truck dude that's not good so you can see the truck moving right now you see the truck moving? It, the, the, when the tree grew back, it's kind of like, you know, kind of inside the truck a little bit. So that's kind of an issue. Um, I got a lot of storage. It's cool. I've got a lot of lockers, which is which is good because I don't have to make the storage lockers. Um, now, as of right now, scrap iron and um, components are readily available if you want to go out and get them, as I think they should be. Um, but it's still, I don't want to spend all my time breaking up cars, so I'm not going to just throw scrap metal away on, um, on things that I don't think I'm going to need. Like, I don't really need storage lockers if I got regular lockers. Eventually, I'd like storage lockers, because, you know, they're bigger. But, for now, um, I will make do with what I have. Let's just drop all this stuff, for now. I just throw stuff all over the place. Alright, come on, buddy. Can I help him? Oh, dude, I can help him. Wow, teamwork! Teamwork, right, Scott? Pick up those logs, boy. There you go. Pick them up, bro. Here, I'll pick I'll pick up some too. Look at me. Look at me. I'm helping. I'm so helpful. Aren't I helpful, Scott? All right, we're just going to throw these on the ground. Okay. They might be thinking, okay, there's a lot of logs, man. You're not going to need that many logs. Um, to have a... To, wait, what? Oh, I tried to move it, but it's it, it wasn't clear, so I couldn't move it. Okay, you have to clear it before you can move it. That's interesting. I thought you can move it with the, with the thing set up like that. I guess not. All right, anytime you're going to get into a car, save thy game. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, by the way, remember I said there was an update and, like, a lot of things I didn't care about or whatever? One of the things, uh, well, not that I don't care about it. There was a lot of bug fixes that weren't really affecting my game, but one bug fix that was that was fixed that oh, does affect my game is the water feeder supposed to work now. So when we get some uh, when we get some water, that's going to be great, um, you know, and that's what, that's what we're going to be doing today. That's what we're going to be doing, people. Is it late? It's dark, isn't it? Damn it. 
Uh, alright, I'm gonna have to pass the night. I didn't realize it was nighttime because I, um, was not paying, uh, attention. Alright guys, I'll see you in the morning. So I just wanted to mention you guys, um, that my schedule for work is going to be changing up quite a bit. Um, and I'm gonna have a hard time getting used to this schedule. Uh, I just had my first day yesterday, which was Monday. Um, I'm off today, and then I'll be working Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, my old job uh, was really cool because I would be able to, um, what I'd be able to do is I'd be able to, uh, you know, uh, read YouTube comments and stuff at work in between customers because I was working by myself and it was a slower, you know, a slower job, which is part of the reason it went out of business. Um, <laughs> but um, it's going to be a lot harder for me to re read YouTube comments. I will get to YouTube comments. For you guys, for those of you who don't know, I read the YouTube comments on all my new videos. Um, and I can't go back and read all my old videos, YouTube comments, because God, I've got thousands. I've got like Oh, God, I've got over 5,000 videos by now. Um, but I do read all the comments when the videos are brand new. Okay. Now, um, actually, I do see the comments in the older videos, too. I just, I don't, like, um, I don't usually get, I don't usually, uh, like, comment on them because they're just, you know, they're old information. So, but anyway, um, so I'm going to have a hard time getting to the YouTube comments, but I will. Uh, I'll just have to do it in bigger chunks. So I, I read all the YouTube comments for the past weekend um, today. And, uh, yeah, they've been fantastic comments, by the way. Um, and one thing I'm definitely going to do today, uh, when I get this, you know, uh, water truck going is I'm going to, um, by the way, if I pass any tires, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pre-apologize for that right now. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you know, read all the comments and, and take all your comments and, you know, take a look at them and, you know, and, uh, you know, act on them because you guys give me a lot of freaking awesome comments, man, for real. Um, one of the things you guys told me is make a bunch of buckets, you know? Now, I, I like, thought about making a bunch of buckets for tr for water transfer because, because, um, does this look different to you? Is this always the way? It yeah, I think this is always the way it looked. Was there ever a tire over here? I don't know. Anyway, um... So one of the one of the comments you guys gave me is make a water bucket now uh, make multiple buckets for transferring water because I hate transferring water it's boring it's annoying and um, I you know simply don't like it uh, but I wasn't doing it because I was short on metal I was short on components and I was short on scrap metal you, now with these cars respawning uh, scrap metal and and the components are out there if you want to go get them you can go out there and get them and uh, yeah that's a great idea I'm gonna make like ten buckets man like for real because it, like it's just gonna make transferring water so much freaking easier um, and I might actually make extra water containers. Uh, I don't know how many I can fit in this vehicle, you know, but I'm definitely going to make extra water containers and, you know, we'll go from there. Um, I'm going to get this tire off camera, though, because to be perfectly honest, it's a little bit hard to search for towers while I'm trying to talk um, because, you know, I need all my brain power to talk. So <laughs> let me find these tires, guys. Tire number one. Yeah. And tire number two. Oh, my freaking goodness. We've been looking for this tire for a while. Um, <laughs> it kind of... Uh, blows my mind how many times I passed up tires thinking I don't need to be wait getting those tires wasted inventory space none of my tires aren't taking damage why would I ever need another tire why why commentator why would I ever need another tire my tires are fine well there you go <laughs> oh boy um another tip you guys gave me oh there was a tip I wanted to go over oh yeah with the sledgehammer Someone said, like, if you swing with the sledgehammer and then put it away really quickly or something, you could, like, swing it without using stamina. Uh, I'm going to have to look into that. I didn't have time to check it out yet, but I'm going to look into it and see, like, what that's all about. Um, yeah, I said something about swing it um, with the extra hit and then put it away or something. I I'm not really sure what he meant, but, um, yeah, I'm going to definitely check that out. I don't think swimming, swinging with the sledgehammer, not using stamina, is really that necessary. Um, I don't really have a problem with it with the sledgehammer usually. Uh, I, I, maybe if I could do it with the pick in the mine, that might, that would help. Uh, do you guys remember me ever running out of stamina with the sledgehammer? Because usually you break apart a couple of cars and then you have to get in your vehicle and drive along. And then by that time you've already regained your stamina. So I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't remember having any issues with it. Although I do have a notoriously bad memory so that maybe I just blocked it out. Who knows? But, you know, so I'm going to definitely check that out as well. Let me take a look at some of these other ones. Um... You could park cars in a good spot at the warehouse to take a uh, battery. To oh, yeah, okay. So here's another one. And I, I've known about this tip, and I just completely forgot about it. What you want to do is... Oh, God, I'm going to need more... Wait, is there enough... Oh, never mind. I know how I can do it. Never mind. Okay, well, let me bring you up to speed. I just thought in my mind in real time what I wanted to say and didn't say anything to you guys. And all you heard me saying was, wait... You know, and, well, now I'm going to explain it to you. 
Okay, so what you want to do is, all right, I'm having, a, I'm having trouble lighting up outside, right? Um, the floodlights are not powerful enough for outside. I think they're pretty good inside the building I have them in, but if you put them outside, which is where floodlights belong, they, they're not powerful enough. I'm, believe me, I've done it um, in other, like, you know, seasons of the game, and I'll try it in this one, but I, I don't think he's changed it. So floodlights I don't think are good enough for outside. So what you want to do is you want to use car lights, right? If you press R, you could turn on your headlights, right? And the headlights do not drain the battery. They don't drain the, the, the gas. They don't drain anything. You turn on the headlights, and then you turn the vehicle off, right? I think you can even take the parts out of the car with the headlights on. So I think you see where I'm going with this. You basically just go out, get cars, park them around your base in strategically pointing directions, and you use the car lights um, to light up your base. So, and that's awesome. Oh, another, another thing. <laughs> People said, um, use the barrels. Now I mentioned the barrels. I don't like the barrels. The reason I don't like the barrels is because you can't turn the barrels off, right? So if you set up one of these um, barrels here, let me show you what barrels I'm speaking of. Uh, these barrels right here, right? Uh, where are they? They've got to be here. Yeah, these these barrels right here. You put you build them. You put you put wood in them. Can you use firewood in these barrels? That's what I need to know. If you can use firewood in these barrels, I'll use them. If you need to use this wood, I don't know. I mean, I you could you could farm that wood, but it eventually run out, and it's not there's not a ton of it out there. I mean, there's a good amount of it out there, but I don't know. I, I just feel like that wouldn't be a really good um, fuel source for the barrel. Um, fires. Well, why, why are we guessing? Why don't we just make the damn thing and uh, and see what it takes? Because if it takes firewood, I'll use the barrels. Um, the thing is, the barrels again, you can't turn them off. So the thing is, like, if you like set up one of those barrel fires, you know, it's it's up for the night, right? And I don't like that, like at all. Oh, you actually need the wood for that. Oh, where did I put that? Uh, let me go find some. I know I have some. I just don't know where I put it. Okay, so what I'm talking about with these barrels, you see the tiki torches? I can turn these on and off which I think is really awesome. These, you can't turn on and off. You put fuel in here, it's going off for the night. So that's, you know, if you have like, I don't know, eight of these barrels, that's eight matches gone for the night. And that's like, that's assuming that you get, a, you get it lit right away. That's tinder gone every single night. And that's fuel. Now the fuel is not really a problem. It does take, um, it does take firewood, I'm assuming, because it just says fuel. So I can use firewood for that. Um, it also gives you charcoal, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, you could use regular fuel, so that's not the problem. Uh, matches really aren't the problem either. Tinder's a pain in the ass. I'd have to go out and hit trees with a with a freaking knife. And um, this is with, with Tinder and matches without accelerant. This only goes up to sixty percent success success chance. So like you can go through a you know a few matches and a few Tinder um, every night. And you have to light these all individually, and then you have to come in here, press this, ignite. Ignite. Okay, there it it, it, it ignited. Um, this one you can just press one button and it's good to go. Um, but the barrels are. Um, I think the barrels uh, light up more of an area. So and plus like uh, the you know getting firewood. I mean I've got I've got logs coming out of my ears. Not really a big deal. Um, this stuff does take uh, uh, does take biofuel, which is a little hard to get. I got to kill bears for it. Although it doesn't use a lot of the biofuel. I mean this thing's gonna last forever. I guess it depends on which one lights up more of an area. I think this one does. But I'm not really 100% positive on that. All right, so let's get out there. I've got everything on me I need. Let's go ahead and get out there. Let's get this truck. Let's get the gas. What are we going to call it? The, um, the water truck? I, I think the water truck is pretty good. I mean, it's to the point. A little simple, but to the point and self-explanatory. The water truck. Anyone got a better uh, better name for the water truck? If you got more? If you got a more interesting name, let me know. I think water truck is pretty good. It, like, it kind of rolls off, rolls off the tongue. It's I don't know. It's just kind of... It's a good name, but... If you guys come up with something better, I will be happy to take suggestions. Where the hell is this thing? Oh, <laughs> when I cut the video saying, where is this thing? It was directly behind the log piles. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I wasn't sure where it was. I was like, where is this thing? I don't know. You should be able to put a certain amount of liters in here. I shouldn't have to fill the, t it's either fill the tank or nothing. <laughs> I don't like, I don't think that's necessary, but all right. We got our water truck. Yeah, I was over here. And I was like, where is this thing? And I was like, it's got to be over here somewhere. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's right behind the freaking logs. There we go. We got the water truck. We'll come back and get our, um, our regular truck in a moment. Um, don't want to put four barrels. I think I want to put four barrels on this thing, man. Like, I want this thing to be loaded, man. Freaking 400 liters, baby. Oh, man, the 400 liter truck. Oh, maybe we could call it that. If we put four on there, we could call it the 400 liter truck. That's pretty cool, too. Now, let's see what it takes to make those barrels. I'm, I know I have a lot of materials, but I'm still cheap. I'm so cheap. I don't want to build anything. I don't want to I don't want to spend any of my resources. I just want to hoard them. Hoard them all. Uh, let's see what it takes for one of those things. 
Um, oh god, that yeah. All right, <laughs> yeah, 400 liter truck it is. Um, I think we still have one in here upstairs. Um, and then we're gonna make buckets. That's right. We need to make the buckets. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make nine buckets. The hell with it. I think. You know, just. You know, I don't know how else to say it except for the hell with it. <laughs> I think the hell with it. Uh, you know, is pretty much giving you my idea on you know where I'm where my head's at at this point. Uh, so how much is a bucket? I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? I got some stuff out here. Oh, oh, oh. Another, another thing. Yeah, don't forget, guys. I, I just read comments on like four videos. You guys give me so many freaking good tips. Farm infected to get electronic component or electronic boards or whatever the hell they're called. So there you go. That That's great. Also, also, uh, people said TVs. You can break apart TVs. Now, I tried to break, a, break apart a TV. Um... My other truck's over there. I was looking for stuff in my other truck, and, I, and it's not here. Um, I um, I I went to break apart a TV in one of the most recent episodes, and it didn't work. And I was like, okay, so that I don't know what that's all about because people keep telling me to break apart TVs. Then people say, oh, it's the wrong TV. You got to break apart the ones that are like laying down or something. Um, so yeah, I'll give that a shot. I'll try to break apart everything, man. I don't care. I'll freaking I'll swing this sledgehammer like a maniac all freaking day. Don't. It don't bother me, right? Well, look at this, guys. I came up here on my wall um, to get away from the, the infected, maybe farm the mist a little bit, and looky what I found here. Now, this is both cool and bad. Um, it's cool because she's up here. Imagine if she's up in the tower, like, wa watching out over the compound. Um, it's bad that I think she's bugged, and I don't think she's supposed to be up here. I might have to try and get her down from there. Okay, let's see if we get any electronic components here. Nailed quite a few of them down here. Also, a, a few out here. Yeah, give me those arrows back. I don't really see what the point of the spear is with arrows. Do you guys use the spear instead of arrows? And if so, why? Because you can hold more... You can hold more arrows... Per inventory capacity... Than spears. Spears take up a whole inventory capacity. It takes eight arrows. And if you hit him in the head, one arrow is a kill. And if you don't hit him in the head, two arrows is a kill. So... I don't know. I, um, I put my spears away. I don't really see any need for them, to be honest. There we go. Cool. Alright, yeah, I think we're going to have to start going out of our way to farm the mist, which I'm okay with. I think that's pretty cool. I got no problem farming these dirty, dirty infected. You know, I'm debating if I want to make two extra or just one extra. I think one extra might look cool because you could just, like, put it on top and it'll be like, kind of like a like a pyramid. Um, and I could call it the 300 liter, what, the 300 liter watermobile? I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I, I want a name for the thing. And I definitely want the number 300 liter something, something, something. 300 liter water mobile, 300 liter aqua, aqua truck. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, just make sure it says 300 liter in there. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever fill up 400 liters. I'll get bored. I made, um, I made uh, four buckets and I have five buckets total. And um, I don't know if I'm going to make any more. I might. I mean... See the thing is, like, <laughs> with four, bu with five buckets, I have to, do I have to put, uh, in order to put all the water in three of these, I'd have to do it six times. Um, I also have to find that other bucket. I don't know where it is. I have a bucket floating around here somewhere. Actually, hold on. I think it's in here. Let's take a look. Yep, there it is. So yeah, so with five buckets, I'd have to, do I'd have to fill up the bucket six times, which isn't bad. So, but if I made another five buckets, I'd only have to do it three times, but I'd have to spend resources. I don't know. Cage don't like spending resources. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to try and get this right on the middle. Uh, this is going to be difficult. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is going to be tough. <laughs> Let's try and get this. Uh, I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but... So I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm just going to have to kind of gauge it. Um, oh, that's not bad. It's actually pretty close. Uh, let's try one more time on camera, and I'll do it off if it doesn't work. If I don't get it. Uh, yeah, this is like... It's almost impossible to do this, like, in a real way. You just kind of have to drop it and hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, well, what are you going to do? Alright, guys, I'm kind of bugged here. Um, Sometimes when I move certain objects, they get a little buggy, and then once that's happened, um, I can't rotate. Like, I'm pressing, Q, I'm pressing Q and R right now, and it won't rotate. Um, yeah, sometimes I go to put something in a certain spot... And it'll like disappear and then reappear in another spot close by. And then once that happens, the, the rotate button doesn't work. Now I could just save and leave and come back and it would fix it. But we're almost at the end of the video and I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be needing to rotate for it anyway. Um, I just want you guys to know that one more thing I want to do here is I'm gonna take this uh, and or maybe I'll grab a suitcase. I'll probably grab a suitcase actually. I'm gonna grab a suitcase and put it on this thing, and that will be to hold the buckets. 
Okay, um, but I'm not going to do it right now because right now we're going to go out and we're going to fill this thing with water. And um, I'm kind of like 85% sure, 70%, 75 to 85% sure I'm going to make another five buckets. Um, <laughs> because, you know, I just I don't need to be sitting at the water supply for any longer than I have to. And it's like, it's not, you know, yeah, 90% sure I'm going to make more buckets. All right. So, yeah, actually, yeah, definitely. Definitely. 99% sure I'm going to make more buckets. <laughs> Keeps going up. By the end, it's going to be like 110% sure I'm going to make more buckets. Uh, by the way, we need a shift-click option, please, developer. Pretty please with sugar on top. Shift-click option would be wonderful. Be careful putting these buckets um, into your inventory. If you put them on, like, the side or in between and they fall, they will fall into the water and you will lose them. You can't get them back. I've, sw I've gone underwater to look for them. You can't get them back. Um, so that will suck. So just, you know, take the extra split second and make sure they're lined up properly inside the boxes. Do yourself that favor. All right, so then we do that, and then we come up here, and we do this. All right? Yeah. Guys, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. The idea of a water truck is just a, stri a stroke of genius. And, um, you know, the idea of making more buckets, even though I did think of it, I got to stop being cheap on my resources. The resources are out there now that the cars are respawning. Um, you know, let's just let's just spend the resources and, and and improve our quality of life tenfold because this is just phenomenal. All right, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.